Hello, my name is Mori Kamara. We are currently at my building site where I am building a den outdoor A-frame house. A little bit about myself. I am originally from West Africa, the country of Liberia to be exact. I've been in the United States for about 20 years now and I am currently working in federal law enforcement. What inspired me to build this cabin was my wife and some friends decided to take me out to the Poconos Mountains and we stayed at a cabin that we really enjoyed our time. That gave us an idea that maybe we should invest in some real estate like that. We came across Den Outdoors online and we saw their beautifully designed cabins and how they kind of broke everything down from the builder's perspective or if you wanted to do it yourself. We fell in love with the A-frame and we decided to buy it and now we are currently in the building process. We picked this area to build in because we knew if we was going to do a vacation home, we wanted a place that offered a lot of value to the people that would come here. Page County, Virginia is one of the most beautiful counties I've ever been in and the location has a lot to offer. We are right by the famous Luray Cavern. Skyline Drive is not too far from here. And also the Mount Massanutten Resort is not too far from here. I feel like this is a very centrally located place. And also there's a lot of amenities just 10 minutes away from here. What's really special about this spot is right outside the town. You are still in the mountains. You're in the water lot. You can kind of be detached from everything without being too far away. And that's why I fell in love with it. I acquired this lot actually by accident. I was looking online. Behind this lot, there was a like three acre lot that was actually for sale. And as I was leaving, I seen a sign on the, uh, in the middle of like the grass. It looked like it's been there for a while and I inquired about it. Actually, this lot has been on sale since 2016. The owners have moved down to Florida. They probably forgot about it. I made a call that night, <laughs> made an offer they couldn't refuse and boom, <laughs> a month later I was closing on it. What drew me to the plot is when you're on the main road, you look down, the site is absolutely majestic, especially in the morning when the sun is coming up. When I saw that, I was like, okay, I have to have it. The challenge we ran into was um, getting the lot perked for a septic system. We don't really have water out here, so we have to do our own well and septic. And you have to make sure you meet the county regulations as far as that. So it was about finding an engineer that was willing to come out here and design the system. And also we had to redesign the foundation because the county wanted something different from the plans from Den Outdoors. The biggest advice I'll give to somebody that's trying to do this for the first time would be find a location that you like that's easy for you to get to and just buy it outright. Once you own, own the lot, it's a lot more easier to get financing and to work with other people. Another piece of advice would be you don't necessarily have to go for the big time builders. Try for the local guys, the, you know, maybe not with a big name recognition. Um, somebody you can just find in the classified or general contractors in the area. Those are the people that will actually work with you the best and actually give you honest prices. This lot is a little under an acre. It's about 0.87 acres. And what I really like about it is it's kind of flat up top and it kind of slopes down. So as you can see behind me, that's why the foundation is the way it is. We were actually trying to do a flat foundation, but we ended up, I got a basement foundation out of it. I wasn't going for that, but I was really happy with it. And it really agrees with the layout of the land. So the status of the build so far is we are actually at a very critical point right now. Today, I'm very excited. We have the framing materials arriving here at the lot. We've had the foundation work done. The septic system got put in already and we have electricity at the lot. The road work is basically done and we have the driveway in. So here we are at the lot. Right here is the roadway and the lot. My property line stops up there. And as you can see over here, we have the half moon driveway put in. Materials just arrived for the framing process. I'm really excited about that. As we walk over here, this area right here, so you can get a better look at it. The plan is to put, build this up, level it out, place some evergreen lines right here, and um, put a fire pit right here. Nice sitting area. There's a beautiful view of the mountains down there. And I think it will be really cool in the evening if you can get, or in the morning, if you can sit up here, light a fire, and watch that view down there. As we come up on the foundation right now, we are kind of putting the footers in for the deck. We are going to have a six foot deck half wrapped around towards the back end. We're kind of slowly grading the lot out from all the digging and excavation. Um, down here, we have the electrical wires running from that pole back there. There's going to be a 14 foot standoff area. And right here, this is the septic system. That's the filter tank right there. And the actual septic tank is right there. 
And as we walk back here, we have that cut out looping back. That's going to be the drain field. And on the back end, as you can see, the lot is sloping towards the end. We ended up going with a basement foundation. Um, can walk you in a little bit. There's no light lights yet. The initial idea was for this to be a crawl space, but we ended up digging deep enough where there's a good chance it might be a short basement. It's not really going to be that comfortable for tall people, but I'm probably gonna going to turn this into a basement. Coming up here, um, this is actually where the main entrance is probably going to be. There's gonna be a dormer entrance here. We are doing a six foot deck all the way out here that's gonna wrap around into that 14 to 12 foot deck on that side. So as you can see, although it's a cabin, it's actually gonna be a pretty sizable house. As you walk, you can kind of appreciate the elevation of the house itself. So imagine you're sitting up here, got that nice drop down, nice, somewhat nice of a view in the tree line right there. So this is exactly what I envisioned for the cabin and I'm really excited by it. The entire build process has been a learning process for me because I've never done this before and although there's a lot of information on YouTube, there's no substitute from actually doing it for yourself. The biggest thing I've learned is when you buy a lot, just go ahead, get an engineer, get a septic guy, design your well and septic right away. It will make your life a lot easier and the builders are going to love you for it. I'm not very handy, so we absolutely went ahead and hired a local guy that lives about 10 minutes away to do our build for us. My biggest advice for finding a good builder is go local. Don't worry too much about the big names or the big reviews you are going to see on Google. Come into the community, find some general contractors, and from my experience, they will tend to give you the best true to cost estimate for your build. I decided to go with Den because when I came across their website, I just saw how beautiful their designs were. They looked very eye-catching, beautiful, and very stunning. But the thing that really, really caught my attention was how simple it was. It can look beautiful, but it's simple at the same time. And when you buy their plans, they actually give you a builder's guide along with a list of materials. You can actually price their project yourself before you even approach a builder. It takes some work, but I've never seen that done before. An architect, most of the time, they will draw it up and it's, fine. it's up to you and your builders to kind of source some of those materials. Then outlines that really well for you, so it takes a lot of guesswork out of the building process. We decided to build an A-frame because when I looked into the market, into the area here, there was just nothing like it. And I like to have unique things, so I decided to build an A-frame where nobody else is doing the A-frame. This is a business venture for us, although we might use it for family and friends, but primarily it will be used for business and we actually plan to scale out. Since we love the design by Den Outdoors, we plan to build at least two more in this area. As things stand right now, we should be completed by the 1st of September. Later on today, the materials should arrive here at the lot. And from this week on to next week, the rafters, the framing, everything should be going up. And the build will actually start to look like what we envisioned. We're going to be doing video updates every step of the way for anybody that's interested in doing one of these or coming and staying at one. You can follow along at Camara Cabins. As you can tell, we're very excited and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm working on.